ثواني بس احنا كده لايف يا باشا اوكي كده ار وي لايف؟ وي ار لايف اه اند ايفري ثينج ذا سكرينز ار اوكي بيكوز انا لما وانس انا بدخل في السكرين ذاتس ات فور مي لا كله okay. تمام صح انا باين وكله تمام رايت؟ فيري جود كله تمام اوكي انا هبتدي دلوقتي يا باشا استنى بس نجمع لايف يا دكتور نجمع احنا صغيرين <تصفيق> انا صغيرين طيب يا باشا حاضر اوكي كده تمام كده كده تمام يا باشا اوكي انا بقى لحضرتك رايت لينك اللايف عند حضرتك في الشات ايه ده لينك اللايف عند حضرتك في الشات اه اوكي Alright, so uh, هو باين الحته بتاعت stop sharing هنا جنبنا؟ اه مظهور آه ظهر طب انا هنزلها اوديها فين دي؟ مش مشكله هي هتختفي دلوقتي هي هتختفي بس كده تمام اوكي ماشي Alright حلو قوي Right, so we're live now, yes I can see it Very good, oh, very right. good All right. أنا بس بعمل sharing للناس كلها عشان كلنا نبقى shared. دكتورة سلافة موجودة معنا في اللايف. أيوة. أنا جاي. أبيت مثلاً حضرتك. خير. ماشي يا سيدي ماشي. And here we go. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, sorry. I'm going to try to use technology. All right. Okay. All right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um. Uh. طبعا أنا محمد إحنا في ناس عندنا من منين كلهم من مصر ولا في بعض من بص برا مصر؟ لا في في من دول تاني. في دول دول تانية يعني انا بخاطب ناس كلها من من الامة العربية كلها مش كده؟ بالظبط اه نقدر نتكلم عنها. All right very good بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. انا اسمي الدكتور اشرف سمير محمود رفاعي. انا عضو هيئة تدريس في كلية طب اسنان جامعة الازهر بالقاهرة فرع بنين. النهارده الشرف ليا ان انا اشترك مع محمد فايف كوارترز. في الاونلاين ويبينارز طبعا انا من ساعه ما عدت وانا بدي محاضرات قد كده ان شاء الله يعني الواحد يخلص النيه وتبقى صدقه جاريه وتبقى مصلحه للجميع قدامكم دلوقتي الشاشه فيها كل الكونتاكت انفورميشن بتاعي لو سمحتوا صوروا كوميونيكيت معايا على الفيسبوك افضل طريقه انك تتواصل معايا بيها والايميل بتاعي موجود و كل حاجة أنتم محتاجينها متعلقة بال 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 المحاضرة دي أو أي حاجة تانية أنا تحت أمركم فيها. Okay, so today أنا هتكلم على the removal of separated instruments or the removal of broken instruments. وده الإحساس اللي عندي أنا أنا رجل إن دانتس بالي خمسة وعشرين سنة فشغلتي إن أنا بطلع فايلز مكسورة. الناس كلها بتبعت لي ال الحالات بتاعتهم اللي هم الفايلز مكسوره فيها وانا اللي بحاول اعافر فيها. وده بيبقى رايي مرات منك لله يا شيخ هطلع هطلع الفايل ده ازاي؟ عشان في بعض المرات ان الفايل بتبقى مكسوره والدكتور متخيل ان هي هتطلع من من الكلام بسهوله جدا عشان بعتها لدكتور اشرف او اكس واي زد من الاندونتيك سبيشالست. ودي فيها مشكله في الكيس سلكشن في بعض الكيسز الانسترومنت مش هيطلع. مش هيتعمل له باي باس مش معناها ان every single instrument uh, I try to remove I will be able to remove or bypass طبعا if you see a lot of lectures of people who end up showing you all the cases which they bypassed and they never show you the cases which they did not bypass it makes it seem ان كل حاله بتروح للدكتور ده بيطلعها او بيعديها وده كلام طبعا غير صحيح بالمره احنا عندنا درج كامل في العياده في الحالات اللي ما طلعتش والحالات اللي اتكسرت ما قدرناش نعملها باي باس. 
type. You see here, you can see this is instrument bypass. These are different cases. We have instruments mapsura. Well, honestly, I'm not going to cover them all. I'm not going to say, for example, the instruments these. حد تاني كسرهم لا عشان بس نجيب الموضوع داون تو رياليتي انا بكسر فايلز وغيري بيكسر فايلز اه طبعا عدد الفايلز اللي بكسرها سنويا شهريا اقل ولكن لسه بكسر فايلز سو ايه اللي بيحصل وات دو يو دو وين ذس هابنز ا لوت اوف بيبل وين ذس هابنز ذي اند اب بيعملوا كده بيخفوا الجريمه اند ذن بيحاولوا يدفنوا ويرموها ويغطوا عليها اند ذن بعد كام سنه شهور يبتدي عندك يبقى failure of your endodontic cases وده سيناريو مكرر عند ناس كتير ده بيحصل كتير اوكي سو ليت مي ستارت وذ ا كيس ذس از ا 32 يير اولد بيشنت شي از ذا دوتر اوف ا دينتست جت لي باللور رايت 5 في كومبلكس اناتومي ما بعتالي عشان الاناتومي بتاعتها كومبلكس اند يو كان سي في Very long roots, bifurcation, uh, very deep into the canal, uh, curves. يعني حاجة كده إيه, a very tough case. So he can't aslan refer to. Well, complex cases. دي عامة now as a standard, I send my patients out for a CBCT scan. على أساس إن أنا أعرف يعني um, uh, أشوف الموضوع ب ب three dimensions before I start doing my uh, treatment. With the axial view, you can see there are three canals. So it's a lower premolar with three canals with a large lateral lesion. And then this is the axial view. You can see as well here. You can see the, the depth of the bifurcation. And you can see the lateral lesion. And you can see the roots, three roots, very obviously. There. And then we can also see our um, coronal view. And you can see the approximation of the roots to the mental nerve. لما انتوا شايفين لور كده في منتال نيرف وفي احد الروتس داخله جوه المنتال نيرف شايفين؟ سو طبعا كسرجري ذس از نوت ا فيري براكتيكال اوبشن اوكي سو ابتديت الحاله اي ديد ايفري ثينج تو سبيك اي حطيت الانسترومنتس جوه الكنالز ابتديت ادور على اللينكس است اي ستارتد بريبيرينج اند ذن اثناء البريبيريشن يو كان سي A fractured instrument. Okay, so the fractured instrument uh, there, what I get then is a straight piece of the instrument. It's in the straight part of the canal and it's fractured. Where Taban Zayman to Bethesu, Nafs al Ahsas, did Ara, I panicked, my heart rate delayed, and I had to explain to the daughter of the dentist that the instrument fractured. Now, if you look at the Sina Ligambi Hadimish Bidati, Another dentist also fractured an instrument in that canal. So uh, that's not mine. And but I'm al best. I was dealing with this one. Udi kan kifay alaya and nana lekasir. So in a case like this, I started doing the the canals which I could reach, and then I was left with the fractured instrument still in place. Ma man shfiya haga. Fa khallast al canal qanawat al taniya wa tarit al amal ma al al qana al hiya al mutabaqi. And there you can see, in this case, I was uh, unfortunate. I did a bypass. After the bypass, I did the obturation. And you can see the final obturation here. And if you look, this is the two years later, and this is the initial post-operative. The lesion is healed. واحد هيسألني طب وليه يا دكتور أشرف ما ما ليه الكنال الحتة دي ما فيهاش فيلينج؟ الحتة دي. Well, this isn't really Uh, a canal. The canal exits laterally. Well, back to the CBCT, I can go back to the CBCT. Hatlay exit will lesion kulaha gaya laterally. Hatta fil healing, what do you see here in the healing? You see no lesion in the apex, and there was a lesion laterally here, and the lesion here is completely healed after maybe two years. Okay, so لو الحاجة دي حصلت, what are the possibilities if this happens? Trilateral removal, ماشي. Bypass, okay. وإيه كمان? Apical surgery. And اردم عليها. اردم عليها is what اللي انتو بتعملوه. Instrument مكسور, طب أنا مش عارف أشيله. معنا لاش specialist, لأنا مش عارف أشيله. 
Erdemali. Now the question here is why Erdemali? Why are we talking about um Erdemaliha? Yani Erdemaliha di aw in anagati al instrument al maksur by obturation. It happens, okay? Well, I can, why should it not happen? That's the well. Number one, it is a bacteriological problem. Bacteria are measured in microns. Yani the file 15 equals to 150 microns. The file 40, 400 microns. The problem is that the sizes of the bacteria size is very big because the microns are measured in, uh, sorry, bacteria are measured in microns. It's not in one, it's not in three microns. So if you have a place to carry 400 في طول في عرض في كناس في irregularities طبعا in this case يعني we have a, a a problem and you stop thinking about it in bacteriological terms and what are the excuses the arguments that the patient uh, that the doctors give are number one the instrument is separated at the apex for the lama separated at the apex it is as if it is an obturation and number two the instrument separates after complete preparation the two arguments which the dentist uh, produces uh, to, to justify not removing or not trying to remove or bypass the instrument. Excuse me, best there's something um, that's making noise in my browser. I'm going to turn off my browser and here. There we go, back and again. Here we go, back again, okay? So here we have the arguments. Argument number one, instrument separation at the apex. Uh, argument number two, um, instrument separation after complete preparation. Okay, let's see the dalil and let's see. All right, so this is a case. Uh, I broke this case. What you see here, you see a, a, a file, and you can obviously see that there are flutes. Shafin, that means if this instrument was fractured at the apex, it would never be like an obturation because there are flutes, flutes equals space, space equals place for bacteria to uh, exist. So the instrument in Maksura acts as if it is an obturation, an HSS. Because most of our instruments, they have flutes and most of my canals are not circular, they are irregular in shape. So even if you have a, a circular instrument fractured in an oval canal, the issue here is that the oval canal still has space peripherally around the instrument that's fractured. Right, and this is uh, uh, these are studies from Love Verma, and you can see these are uh, um, uh, the roots of the Mishibakal canals, and you can see that the, this is a micro CT study. There's very complex anatomy here, irregularities, spaces. Even if you break off an instrument in one of these canals you are left with multiple ramifications, cul-de-sacs, uh, isthmuses, irregular shapes inside the canal system which have enough space to harbor bacteria. So imagining that uh, filling these canals, uh, sorry, with instruments which are fractured is a solution, is not really a solution. Um, again, the other argument is uh, that the, the, the instrument uh, has, um, uh, the canals have been cleaned effectively before treatment. Now, this research that I'm mentioning here, uh, this was done in 2008, 2013, and 2016. All this uh, research was done to evaluate bacterial reduction after chemical mechanical preparation of different routes of different canals using different systems. And not any of this research has shown that all the canals were without bacteria. There was always a level of bacteria in some of the specimens. No matter how much you are sure of your activation method, of your preparation method, there's always a, a possibility that there is uh, remnant bacteria in the canals. Okay, so if I had to choose, which one do I choose first? Trilet removal, bypass, typical surgery, or Erdemaliha? So Erdemaliha, we're going to cancel. The three techniques, trilet removal, bypass, or apical surgery. So which one do we choose first? Now, the emotional decision would be 
Most of us, when we see that instrument fractured on the x-ray, the emotional decision would be, I want to get it out of the x-ray. I can't stand seeing it on the x-ray. I So um, your emotional decision as a dentist that feels that he, cre he, made a, 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 he created a bigger problem for his patient is that you want this instrument to be, to, to be removed. But this is the emotional decision. This is not necessarily the decision that is in the best interest of your patient. Now, with regards to the research, bypassing is the treatment of choice because it's, first of all, it's less traumatic, less expensive, uses minimal technology, and sometimes if you're lucky, if you bypass the instrument and you are filing next to the instrument, the instrument actually comes out. But this is the, the first choice, bypass. How is it done? I know that people have protocols on how to bypass and they make it sound like it's a very complicated issue. It isn't. There are two or three rules which you abide by. And if you do them, you sometimes can bypass and sometimes you cannot. Because bypassing means trying to find space between the instrument and the dentin. You do not create new space. You try and negotiate already existing space between the instrument and the dentin. Bimana. It, what, when you are trying to negotiate between a file and a, a canal, you are trying to find the space between the flutes. So how is it done? Small files, minimal force, a lot of patience. It's not something that's done quickly. I can spend two or three visits sometimes trying to bypass. And I may, may be able to completely bypass. Sometimes I don't completely bypass. It, 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 the point is that if you get too aggressive with these instruments, that means you do not use minimal force. If you lose patience, you end up applying more force, becoming frustrated, and then you'll fracture another instrument next to the instrument you're trying to bypass. Uh, the second rule is that you need to uh, always try and bypass from the inner curvature because when, you, when your instrument is fractured in a curve, which is more often than not, the instrument is usually fractured in the curved portion, and when it fractures, the instrument is lying more on the outer curvature than the inner curvature. So you will probably find more space on the inner curvature of the canal. And secondly, um, if you insert an instrument next to a fractured segment in the internal curvature of the canal, the instrument will try and open up towards the fractured instrument. So your bypassing instrument will always try to open towards the uh, metal of the broken instrument because it is a, it's an instrument and it's going inside the curved canal. And if it does that, it has restoring force. And restoring force of any instrument means that it will open up. If you try and insert the instrument from the outer curve, it will open up towards the dentin, and that means that you have a higher possibility of ledging and perforation. So always try to bypass from the inner curvature. This is a case I did many years ago. It was a fractured case, an instrument I managed to bypass, and that's the final obturation over there. So you can see the, the canals. It took, it took a while, it took me, I think, two, two visits for me to bypass. This was an old protaper instrument, so they're very difficult to bypass. All right, so the order of things is bypass first, then trial and removal, and then apical surgery. Now, the question is, why bypass first? I explained. Less traumatic, less damaging to the roots, and we'll show you when we show you the process, uh, when I show you the process of removal. So when should we decide to remove? Yani, uh, removal, not bypass. I know that the treatment of choice is bypass. But when should I say instrument removal? When? Number one, when you've got the proper instruments. Because if you don't have the ultrasonics, you don't have the microscope, you don't have the instrument retrieval kits, it's nearly impossible for you to do this regularly with some uh, semblance of repetitivity and success. Number two, uh, the operator experience. The more experienced the operator is, definitely the more um, uh, he will be able to remove more difficult cases. Uh, this is one of the most important things with regards to instrument separation is, is it ahead of the curve? That means when it fractures, is it fractured and part of it is still in the straight portion? Well, uh, the whole instrument is around the curve. Now, most of the times, if the whole instrument is around the curve, you will have a very difficult time, if not impossible, to try and remove it. And this is an example why. 
If the instrument is fractured within the straight portion, I will be able to see it, I will be able to manage it, I will be able to instrument around it. But if it's fractured in the curve and all I can see is dentin, I won't be able to manage and it'll be very difficult to try and remove it. Also, another thing which affects my ability or my inability to remove is the, le the, the level of remaining dentine thickness. Now, if you fracture an instrument coronally, the amount of dentine um, peripherally is more, and the more you move to the apical, the, the amount of dentine peripherally around the instrument that's fractured is less. Now, by default, when we, instru when we remove instruments from the canal, we have to remove dentine circumferentially around the instrument. And if the instrument itself is um, uh, fractured in, in, in the apical portion or in an area where the root canal is very thin, there is a high potential that during the instrument separation, you may perforate. Okay, so what influences success versus failure? You have the position of the separated instrument. Is it coronal? Is it in the middle? Is it in the apical? Now, coronal instruments are more easier to remove. Apical instruments are more difficult to remove. This makes perfect sense. Size and length of the separated instrument. Now, there's a, there's a, generally, there's like a, a few rules. Um, Toriyashi, when he was talking, he, he published a few, little research on this. Uh, um, small instrument sizes and uh, small lengths are, um, are easier to remove with ultrasonics. When the lengths are beyond four millimeters and size uh, 35, I think, or 30, then the instrument becomes more difficult to remove and you probably need to uh, use an instrument removal kit. So depending on the size and the length of the instrument, um, you have, will have variability of success. For me, if the instrument is large and long, uh, it's usually very well attached, well bound to the canals. It does not come out with ultrasonics. It usually needs to be removed using a tube system or a loop system. Um, um, this is a paper from my friend Ahmed Madrati. When he one of the fact that this is the picture in his paper, uh, the cross section of the canal. If the original cross section of the canal is rounded, you have it is more difficult for you to remove or bypass. If the original canal uh, dimensions are um, oval or irregular in shape and you have space around the instrument, these instruments are a little easier to remove. So the original cross-section cross of the canal affects your ability or your inability to remove them. The instrument design, and this is a big issue, uh, if you have, say, a convex triangular design like this, there is very little flute space, so this is very difficult to remove and bypass. You will have more engagement. If it's a regular triangular, you will have um, more space around the instrument so it can be easier to bypass. Uh, if you have uh, regular flutes or if you have um, uh, large uh, helical angles, you can see the difference between both of these instruments. Uh, in one of the instruments, the, two, the flutes are tightly wound. In the other instrument, the flutes are farther apart. When you have farther apart flutes, the, there's more space. Uh, sorry, if, when you have farther apart cutting edges, you have deeper and larger flutes, which allow for passage of instrument between and also engage dentine less. So the less flutes you have, uh, the less fluting you have, and the less cutting edges you have, the less binding and the more space between the instrument and the dentin, making it easier to bypass or remove. The material of manufacture, if it's stainless steel or nickel titanium, um, stainless steel are more resistant to ultrasonic uh, instruments, while nickel titanium, if you get too aggressive with the ultrasonics, they, they break off. I've had cases where pieces of the instrument keep breaking off to the point where I can't reach the most apical part of the instrument. So uh, I prefer to remove stainless steel instruments than nitide. Uh, the type of fracture, uh, was it a, um, a, a torsional fracture or was it a... Uh, a cyclic fracture, depending on the amount of binding between the instrument and the canal walls, um, an instrument which is fractured by torsional fatigue uh, usually has a lot of bind to the walls, while an instrument which is fractured by um, cyclic fatigue is less bound, so it's easier to come out. So depending on the modality of the instrument fracture, we also have a difference in our ability or our inability to remove the instrument. This is a case, when I first saw this case initially, 
I said, okay, that looks quite easy. You can see a lot of space around uh, the file. واضح جدا هنا عندك مسافة كبيرة جدا حوالين الفايل فأنا قلت this instrument should come out by even just a bypass or مش بس كده it may even come out if I um, if I try to uh, uh, bypass it it should come out I was unable to bypass although it looks very very loose inside the canal and my only explanation is that this was about four or five millimeters and it was a size 45 instrument and like I told you and plus it was an edge file so like I told you, the longer the instrument, the bigger the size of the instrument, the, the more bound the instrument is to the work, to the, the canal, and the harder it is to come out uh, by ultrasonics, you may need to use uh, um, removing kits. Now, the process here, the doctor, I don't know what he had in mind, but he went in with a tapered stone. You can see the outline of the, instru of the tapered stone here. I don't know what he was trying to do, uh, he went in with the tapered stone, even if he able, was able to reach the instrument, I don't understand what this maneuver was supposed to accomplish. And this is after, um, here you can see on the right, after I did the instrument removal, there's even more destruction. So the process of instrument removal in itself is very destructive to the root structure. There's always a possibility of perforation. Luckily, in this case, I was close to a perforation, but I didn't perforate. Now, with regards to success and failure, uh, if we look back at the research till maybe 2014, there's more research now in 2020, but you're talking about a success rate of removal about uh, in the first uh, research, 50% of the cases chosen for bypass were bypassed and 20% chosen for removal uh, were removed. Uh, in 2012, 54% bypassed, 30% removed, and another um, research um, in 2014, 84% bypass, 36% removal. So you can see that even along the years from 1999 to 2014, even with the changes in technology, uh, the, 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 the success rate of removal doesn't get better than 30%. That means every 10 cases you decide to try and remove, you will be able to remove three of those instruments. This is, this is the reality. While bypass, Again, what is close to my practice would be around 50% of the cases I choose to bypass, I'm able to bypass. So even bypassing has a higher percentage of success in the cases which you choose for bypass. Now, how is it done? There are, there are many, many different ways of uh, removing instruments. You can use ultrasonics, you can use grasping instruments, you can use uh, specific tube systems. Now, it, no matter what system you use, Whenever we do an instrument removal, you need to put in mind three things. You need to create straight line axis. That means you need to see the flat surface of the fractured instrument directly using a microscope. You must be able to see it. And number two, we create a little staging platform, which is we enlarge circumferentially around the instrument. Now, historically, we used to enlarge 360 degrees. More recently, with the smaller instruments, we can enlarge one side of the instrument towards the curvature with no need for us to enlarge the other side for multiple reasons. The first reason is being conservative. The second reason is when you uh, do a, a, a circumferential enlargement, sometimes the instrument, when it's coming out, lies on the outer curvature and has difficulty coming out of the canal. So um, most of the time I would do about maybe 180, 200 degrees of, en of, uh, of um, enlargement around the instrument using an ultrasonic. Historically, we used to use Gates gliding drills to create the platform. And I'll show you how it's done on the video. So here is the case. Uh, it's a, an old case. Even the, 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 the pixelation of the video shows that it's at least eight years, nine years old. You can see I'm creating a staging platform. That area circularly around the instrument that's fractured is giving me space to apply ultrasonic energy circumferentially around the instrument. And uh, when this happens, the instrument starts becoming loose and pops out of the canal. There. Okay. Now, this can only be done, like I said, if you have the instruments, you have the technology, you have the experience, and then you can start doing this type of procedure. All right. There are specific instrument removal kits. Now, these instrument removal kits are quite expensive, but there are basically two types of instrument removal kits. You've got the loop systems and you've got the tube systems. Now, the tube systems, they are, 
um, they, for instance, the one from Zoomax, they are um, about um, a tube with an extension inside the tube. And this tube will actually go onto the instrument. And then there's a, there's a little um, tongue-like depression inside, which will extend and engage with the instrument, and it will pop out. So let me show you a video, quick video of the, this is the company, the ZoomX company. So here we're creating the staging platform. You create space, intentionally create space above the instrument. There you go. All right, and then you create a staging platform with the modified gates. You see? Yes, see how, how damaging it is to the dentine? It's quite damaging. That's why I prefer to bypass if I could. Then you irrigate. And then the, the, the demo video, they're going to show you the circumferentially that there is a ledge or a staging platform. Then they use a, a micro trephine drill to create space around the instrument. You can use this drill or you can use ultrasonics. This drill is just faster. And you can see the instrument, and there is space circumferentially around the instrument. He's going to create more space, about maybe two millimeters around the instrument. Once he's created the space, you can see that the instrument now is, uh, he inserts his tube. The tube inserts over the instrument that's fractured. He engages, and then he pulls out. And there is your fractured instrument. So uh, this is, but uh, like I said, this loop systems, you can see the end result is very damaging to the dentine. Very, very damaging to the dentine. Okay, and then there are the loop systems, which depend on a, a wire loop, which um, engages, comes around the instrument, and it engages the instrument and you pull it out. So you've got either the loop systems or the tube systems. And in the end, some cases are just not retrievable. And this results in the surgical end that you may have to do a surgery or you may have to do a replantation procedure to, to uh, save the tooth. Not every tooth is, uh, every instrument is removable and not every instrument is bypassable. Um, so I hope uh, today was uh, beneficial to everybody. I know it was a quick lecture. Uh, we can spend hours uh, speaking about instrument uh, fracture and separation. Uh, the causes and how to prevent, and I have a synopsis of multiple cases uh, so that experience will uh, um, can can uh, can be given to my students. Maybe uh, in another venue, we'll be able to do more detailed um, discussions on instrument removal and instrument bypass. شكرا جزيلا لحضرتك واتمنى كل الناس استفادت بإذن الله طبعا متعلق العادة دكتورنا. نورتنا والله ربنا يحفظك يا دكتور الله يخليك ان شاء الله بفكركم بكره معانا دكتور ايهاب محمد ابراهيم منبسط باذن الله تكون محاضره شريفه ان شاء الله يا برنس محمد ابراهيم اوكي في اي اسئله بقى ولا لا؟ لو حد عنده اي اسئله الدكتور معانا معانا جاهز الصوت كان بيقطع اه قطع في جزئيه بسيطه Now, okay. All right. How to avoid washing? Ah. Ah, okay, I can see that. Ahmed, yeah, yeah. All right. Pushing the separated instrument beyond uh, the apical area. Most, most of the time, Ahmed can be saying, is it amna in the instrument? امنع انه يتزقق اي بيكلي وانا بستعمل الالترسونكس هو معظم الوقت لما الانسترومنت بيبقى مكسور بيبقى باوند للكلام ما بيبقاش مفتوح يعني اليوم اللي اكثر فيه فايل في الكلام مفتوح ده هيبقى يوم فرح ليا بيكوز جنرالي هيبقى سهل في الطلوع ف بس موست اوف ذا تايم لما الانسترومنت بتتكسر بتتكسر في كانالز تايت اف يو اف يو اكشلي بوشت ا كانال ان انسترومنت بره الابيكال اريا مع الـ مع الابلكيشن اوف اوتوسونكس ده معناه انك انت يو ار ابلاينج ذا اوتوسونكس على الانسترومنت مش جنبها لازم عشان تطلع الانسترومنت تخلق سبيس جنب الانسترومنت عشان لما الانسترومنت بيبقى لوس يلاقي مكان يطلع فيه بس لو انا بزق عليه من فوق وهو اوكي اوكي طب ما هو مش هيحصل كل ما هيحصل ايه؟ هينزل لتحت 
سو ذير ذير از نو بوسيبل واي انك انت لو بتعمل الالترونكس بروبرلي هتزق الانسترومنت اي بي تي صعب جدا سؤال تاني لو انا شغاله في مكان في كذا حد شغال معايا بنفس الفايلات اقدر ازاي اختبرها عشان ارميها قبل ما تتكسر آه بصي احنا عندنا في الاندو آه استعمال الانسترومنتس مرتين من خروج من المله اوكي يعني اصل الانسترومنت اصل انت مش عارف اللي استعمله زي ما انت قلت يا دكتوره آه ما تعرفيش الدكتور ده استعمل الانسترومنت ازاي اوكي هل هو آه كان اجريسيف استعملها اكوردنج تو ذا مانيفاكتشر استعملها في كام كنال طب الكنالز دي كانت كيرفد ولا مش كيرفد الدنتين كان هارد ولا مش هارد ده انا كدكتور بستعمل نفس الفايلز بتاعتي لو استعملت نفس انا عامه دي لوست تو يوز ماي انسترومنتس وان اند اي ثرو ذيم اواي اي دونت يوز ذيم اجين في سؤال بيسال لي في حل ارخص من كده للاسف لا <تصفيق> مفيش حل ارخص من كده الحلول اللي انت عايز تعملها مش هتيجي اللي يعني انا دلوقتي لما لما الحاله بتيجي لي و يعني عمرنا ما بتتخيل مثلا انك هتدخل اجانس مرسيدس ها وتقول له لو سمحت انا نفسي في في, في السي كلاس بس عايزها بسعر الجي ما اتس نوت مش هيحصل فاللي ما عندوش القدره الماديه ان يدفع ثمن السيرفيس دي مش هياخدها دي مش متعلقه بيك انت يعني خلاص مش هياخد امم اوكي ام لوكينج البروتوكول انا شرحته في المحاضره there is no specific protocol you go in with an 8 and then i go I usually i start with a 10 and then i try to find the space اللي ما بين الانسترومنت وال uh, وال uh, canal wall and then i start to work my file with a very mild watch winding motion inching inching bit by bit inside the canal and then when i feel i take my instrument out i look at my instrument if it begins to look distorted barniha bagib wahda taniya and then when i find sometimes that the instrument is not advancing i will get an 8 or i will get a 10 and i will try to advance a little more until i i find my way outside into the main canal again that's it's a simple trial and error procedure We shouldn't remove instruments without a microscope. It's Saleh. He's asking, "Is it possible to remove the instruments without a microscope?" I mean, it's difficult. I don't know exactly what it is. I want to enter the Sahara with my Arabic. If the Arabic itself has no four wheels, I don't think I'll be able to enter the Sahara. I mean, it's not difficult in the Arabic, but if it's not there, I won't be able to do it in a way that is repetitive and successful. Saleh is asking, "Can it be done with loops?" Some of the instrument fractures can be done with loops, especially the things that are in the coronal, for example, or between the coronal, in the straight portions of the canals, wear it. Um, uh, can, can we bypass manually without ultrasonics or microscope? طبعا زي ما ذكرت في المحاضرة إن ال 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 micro ال ال bypass بالذات مش محتاج تكنولوجي جامدة. أنت you don't see when you bypass. You try and find space. So. ال ال الحته بتاعت باي باسنج ويزاوت اه مش محتاجه التراسونكس ومش محتاجه مايكروسكوب سؤال تاني عماد بيسالني which files are better when bypassing c files or d finder files i've tried both for me they both give me the success i need i'm not saying one is better than the other الفكره من ال d finders او ال c files ان طرفهم very sharp they have a very sharp pointed tip The pointed tip D will find its way into narrow areas better than a blunted tip. So a pointed tip, blunted tip. Pointed tip is better when you're doing your initial bypass. Fi uh, Akhtar, from your experience, which is higher in frequency of fracture, rotary or hand files? Uh, rotary files are metan. Bardu. في uh, سؤال um, from your experience uh, which is higher frequency of fracture rotary ولا hand files a rotary files بتبعتها uh, because in it is faster it's much easier to fracture in the beginning of your uh, usage in career بتاعك but uh, I fractured instruments stainless steel and I fractured uh, um, rotary you probably will fracture a smaller size instruments uh, hand or will fracture regular size instruments with rotary hand 
في اكتر من ساعه وما فيش باي باس او اتنين تيب نحاول الفايل 25 سبيس ايوه مش معناها ان عشان انت عملتي البروتوكول كما يجب معناها ان كل حاله هيتعملها باي باس ما حدش مغسل وضامن جنة doesn't work this way alright we try بنحاول رحمه الحاله بتاعتك نفعت ممكن المره الجايه تنفعش او المره دي ما نفعتش المره الجايه حاله تنفع Ah, uh, what is the proper way of telling the patient that I have broken a file? بصي انت الكلمه اللي اتقالت دي اصلا فيها خطا. You didn't break a file. The file broke. بتبقى مبني للمجهول. ما تقوليش انا كسرت. لا هتقول الانسترومنت اتفصل. First of all, استعمال اللفظ اتفصل غير اتكسر. اوكي؟ okay? اتفصل جوه القناه مردوده على العين بتاعك مختلفه مختلفه تماما عن اتكسر. ومش بس كده when you talk about it don't talk about it like oh my god انا عملت مصيبه اتكسرت انا ممكن نحاسب على الفايل كده ايوه ايوه انت كده اصلا عينها هيفتكر انه هيروح خلاص ورا الشمس so uh, you don't you, the way your emotions you have to talk about it matter of factly explain that uh, instruments they separate separate they don't fracture okay they separate inside the canals Because the canals themselves are narrow and the instruments are very uh, small, and this can happen. What's the problem? Eh, we will try and remove it. Uh, we will try and observe it. Maybe in the future it may need surgery. حتبسط الموضوع بشكل إن العين ما يبقاش طالع حاسس إنه الدنيا اتنكدت عليه يعني. How to remove fiber post? That's uh, uh, ممكن uh, نعملها في يوم تاني بقى دي دي محتاجة post removal و, uh, post removal techniques. دي uh, ممكن نخلي محمد بعد الحظر يعمل لنا On uh, اسمه <laughs> course on deco hands on and how to remove it. صالح أنا لسه قايل على إزاي أكلم العيان في حالة الانسترومنت اتكسر. أو أنا مستني أسئلة لو حد عنده أي أسئلة إحنا جاهزين. What about the cost for more? What about the eh? The cost, the cliff to remove it. Ah, okay. Okay, I made that I'm going to ask you the question, but I'm going to ask you the question of Dr. Mohamed. The cost. Listen to me, Dr. Mohamed. Don't think that this thing will be done with a lot of money. The instruments, the ultrasonics, the most expensive, will start from $1,300. You can use it with a single person. اوكي البروكن ريموف الانسترومنت ريموف او ريتريفل كيتس بتبتدي من 900 دولار وطالع والكيت بيبقى ليها ليميتيشنز المايكروسكوب 800000 وطالع لحد 500000 الريج يعني الريزونبل بحوالي 350000 فانت هتصرف الفلوس دي كلها والعين مش عايز يشتريها الخدمه يبقى انت بتدي بتحاول تبيع مثلا مثلا بتحاول تبيع عربيه مرسيدس في 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 مكان في الارياف ما عادش يشتري اوكي ما هو انت الخدمه اللي انت هتديها لازم تبقى في متناول يد الشخص اللي انت هت هتديها له او ما ينفعش انت تبيع حاجه يعني ما حدش هيروح لبياع مثلا مرسيدس يقول لك لو سمحت انا نفسي العربيه المرسيدس دي اخدها لو سمحت بثمن الجيلي لو تديها لي بثمن الجيلي ابقى مشكور فال فالبياع يقول لك ايه اه خدها بثمن الجيلي يا سيدي لا مش هيحصل انت مرسيدس لو معاك فلوس مش هتشتري صح ولا لا؟ مش كده؟ ف يا تيجي الفلوس آه... احنا نمسك بيها دلوقتي ايوه ايوه طبعا لا لا مش كلام متوازن آه عماد بيسالني after bypassing with manual files um, can I use rotary files or better to use manually؟ آه عامة يا عماد انا it's risky business آه 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 انا عن نفسي لما bypass an instrument بكمل بالmanual sometimes انا ممكن اخد decision انا اقلب rotary because but sometimes وانا بدخل بالrotary I can dislodge the instrument وازقه زياده جوه الكنال عشان كده I prefer to continue with manual honestly يعني. Uh, ما انا uh, في سؤال اتسال يبقى ممكن بس ما كانتش موجوده وقت المحاضره if it's broken after cleaning and much irrigation can I obturate انا رديت على كده في المحاضره ممكن ترجعي لنص المحاضره هتلاقي الكلام متجاوب عليه. 
فعلا محضر كويسة جدا ان شاء الله شكرا يا كريم آه، تامر بيكلمني على حالة نيجوشيشن 26 ابر ليفت مولر في ديت باكا كانال نارو and he was unable to negotiate narrowness um, narrowness is a matter of narrowness it's narrow انا عندي بلاعة مسدودة لازم اجيب سلاكة اصغر من البلاعة ملهاش سوليوشن تاني ف Uh, the only solution is to use a lot of irrigation, lubricants, and pre-curve your file and go in with small files until you negotiate the canals. But that does not mean that every single case is negotiable. Islam is asking about the sealer puff, and it's not the place of the day, but the sealer puff is about the sealer puff. The sealer puff is about the sealer puff, and we try to make it, or we try to make it, or we try to make it. يعني ولا اي في ناس بتقيم ان تطلع سيلر باف كان ده انعكاس لاوبتريشن كويس وفي ناس بت ما 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 بتبقى مش عايزاه يطلع ولا ده ولا ده طلع خير وبركه ما طلعش خير وبركه مش لا مش فاهم صالح ده بيسالني ان ريتريتمنت كيسز وات اباوت ات صالح ممكن تفسر بس يعني ايه ان ريتريتمنت كيسز ليدي uh, رين uh, طبعا محمد uh, دكتور محمد uh, بيعمل لي كورسز كتيره uh, انا بعلن عن الكورسز بتاعتي على الفيسبوك بيجز بتاعتي وعلى ال uh, على البيرسونال بيج بتاعي سو uh, so, هتلاقي الكلام ده بس بس الدنيا بس تفك من عندنا بالكورونا ومحمد يصحى من النوم والدنيا هتمشي ان شاء الله <تصفيق> الاجازه جاي علينا بنوم يا دكتور ايه انا مش عارف انا 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 بقالي سنين ما خدتش اجازه اربع اسابيع يعني انا مش عارف اعمل ايه في نفسي يعني ربنا آه يستر وتعدى الاربع اسابيع بس العيال لعبت معاها محاضرات اديت آه اكل اكلت طبيخ طبخت آه غسيل غسلت مش عارف اعمل ايه في نفسي فول اوبشن كل اه وات بروتوكول فور شيبينج اس شيب كانالز ذا سيم بروتوكول اي شيب بي اني كيرف كانالز اي كرييت ا جلايد باث Uh, في دكتور حلمي بيسالني هاو دو يو شيب سبيسيفيكلي الاس شيب كانال وين اي ام ديلينج وذ مالتيبل بلينز اوف كيرفتشر اي ستارت ديلينج وذ ايتش كورونالي اي ستارت فيرست باي انلارجينج كورونال اند ميدل تو ريديوس ذا افكت اوف ذا فيرست كيرفتشر اند وانس اي ريديوس ذا افكت اوف ذا فيرست كيرفتشر باي انلارجينج ذا ميدل اند ذا كورونال اي ستارت تارجتينج ماي ابيكال از اف اي وود دو اني كيرف كانال اجين انكريمنتال انكريسز No force during preparation. طبعا this brings us to the method of using rotary instruments. وده برضو هيبقى يعني نقاش ليوم تانية. آه سؤال من عبد الله أبو حليمة. How can we be more conservative with staging platform? المشكلة when I'm creating a staging platform for instrument retrieval, هي طبيعي طبيعة ال staging platform destructive. يعني I have cases if I can show you هحاول um, اطلع uh, لكم كيس دلوقتي سريع كده واعمل اعرضها um, uh, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم give me a second ثواني uh, بس هطلع لكم الحالة بس very quickly واعرضها على الشاشة واعرض الشاشة بتاعتي. So بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله. Sorry sorry شباب. Yeah okay so I'm just gonna show you a case with an instrument fracture. All right so هعمل sharing تاني هعمل sharing تاني يا محمد okay. ماشي يا باشا. Okay. So uh, Abu Hanim can be telling me, how can you be more conservative? I will show you a case here. So this is an instrument fracture. You can see it, it's in the middle third. I, I, I'm sure if it's extreme, I wouldn't mind the right here. And um, I, I create staging platform. So I think a staging platform, very clear day to day, how an instrument. I tried to remove it with loops. I tried to remove it with the there. And then it came out, but it came out with a tube system. The problem after the removal, لو جينا بصينا very closely here هوريكم 
You can see that's the instrument originally. All right, Shafin. And there's a very thin amount of dentine here. And here you can see the instrument. Uh, uh, I made a perforation, one of a sheet. Well, I explained this to my patient uh, that sometimes a perforation happens, and you can see very clearly here a perforation. Shafino? Shafino Muhammad? I have a man. So that's the, the original canal down here, and that's the perforation. So sometimes the process of enlargement results in uh, um, uh, instrument uh, a, a perforation of the canal. Um, uh, Abdullah is Elni, do you use ultrasonics for the beginning? Sometimes I use ultrasonics for the beginning. Bardo, but say nafs soel asibu, amelu follow up. Okay. Patient cannot afford. Patient cannot afford. That's why he will be successful over time. The eye has to be aware that the instrument that he has and the instrument that he has will lead to less success over time. He will be able to avoid it. Less success. I am not talking about successful. There are people who say, "I don't know how to remove the apex of the root after extraction." Asibu. Academically, it is not allowed to see. بس سبته والعين عاش احنا الحمد لله يعني الـ الـ اخر حاجه عندنا في العيان ان الدرس هيتخلع بس الفكره بس ethically speaking لازم يبقى عارف ان ده الوضع حصل عنده محمد البسيوني بيسالني في حاجه متعلقه بالنكروسيس وباس اصلا مش ما بيبقى بيشم ريحه نيكروتيك ده معناها ان في لسه انفكشن لسه انفكشن معناها ان في اجزاء من الكنالز ما اتنضفتش او في كنالز ما اتفتحتش ملهاش حل تاني patient came to me with old crown and odontically treated many years ago uh, and signs and symptoms without any signs or symptoms but the x-ray i found fractured instrument what should i do you should inform your patient والله يا استاذي في كذا 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 شكله ستيبل طالما ستيبل مش هنعمل فيه حاجه بس على علم ان في انسترومنت مكسور هنا وده وارد يعمل مشاكل على على في فيما بعد ما فيهاش اي حاجه ولازم اصلا كان لازم الدكتور الاصلي يقول للعيان ان ده الواقع اللي موجود انت انت بره مصر هتتحاكم لو انت ما قلتش للعيان بتاعك ان الانسترومنت اتفصل جوه الانسترومنت اتفصل جوه مش هيجرى لها حاجه يعني ده اصلا موجود في الكونسنت فورمز بره مصر وجوه مصر فحته انك ما تقولش دي مصيبه. ايه السبب؟ اف 1 فايل الوحيد اللي ينكسر عندي. انت نور انت من انه دوله؟ اصل ده مش لهجه عربي، مش مصري قصدي، دي لهجه عربي مش مصري. انت في الاف 1 فايل ممكن تبقى من العراق، ليبيا. ما بيردش، نور ما بيردش. <تصفيق> اوكي الاف 1 فايل عامه من 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 اضعف الفايلز في البروتيبر سيستم الاف 1 فايل طرفه از ايكوال تو ا سايز 20 والجنكشن عند 4 5 ملي از از يوزلي فيري ويك ف العراق شفت مش قلت لك في العراق نور من العراق اي نيو انا عارف عايز اكل مسجوف يا نور بقالي بقالي سنين ما اكلتش مسجوف بقالي سنة ونص ما رحتش العراق. ايه السبب؟ ال F1 فايل الوحيد اللي ينكسر زي ما قلت لك it's, it's, it's one of the weakest files in the protaper system. Why patient feel pain during I make access for non necrotic tooth? Uh, اسلام uh, for non necrotic ولا for necrotic؟ ما هو لازم هيحس حي, بين لو انت مش مدي proper anesthesia. هتضطر تدي سبلمنتال انستيزيا لو لو هو لسه حاسس ببين. منا بتسالني في بعض المرات الكاتابيرشا الفايل بيوصل بيوصل اوكي هرد عليك دلوقتي يا اسلام. الفايل بيوصل للفول وركينج لينث ولكن الكاتابيرشا ما بيوصلش. ده معناها ان بروبابلي يو نيد تو انلارج يور كانال ا ليتل مور بيكوز سام تايمز في ديسكريبنسي ما بين الكانال البريبريشن الفايلز والكاتابيرشا. الكاتابيرشا بتبقى اكبر شويه. 
آه اسلام النكروتيك توث لو بتوجع وهو بتعمل اكسس ده معناها ان غالبا في لسه بين مع البريشر او ممكن يبقى في جزء من البلب بارشلي نكروتيك فلسه في بين مع الاكسس كابيتي بتاعه يا محمد باشا طب سؤال مني انا بقى ليه الحاله يعني ان في حالات بتبقى فايتال بنفتح اكسس بيروح العيان بيحس ببين من غير ما نحط اي فايلات ولا اي حاجه تاني قول تاني بعد ما بنفتح اكسس لسنا فايتال العيان آه. بيروح يحس ببين في بين من غير اي سبب ااا آه، اي بس انت فتحت اكسس صح اه بالظبط المفروض ان انا ماشي بس لو انت عامل او سام تايمز بيبقى في سببين اللي بيبقى في بيرسيستنت بين بعد فتح فايتال تو نمبر 1 انت كنت تساي بالب ريمننس جو او نمبر 2 عملت ما خدتش البالب اصلا مجرد اكسس ماشي مش عملت اكسس اه وشلت وعملت بالبوتومي صح وشلت جزء من البالب من البالب اه مظبوط اوكي في الحاله اللي جايه لي دي انا ما اعرفش البالب بالبايتس از ات اكستندد انتو ذا روت كانالز ولا فقط في الكورون البالب <تصفيق> كتير جدا من الوقت انت بتشيل الكورونا البلب بتكون شلت اكتر حته فيها انفلاميشن فاميديتلي البيشنت بيحصل له ريليف اوف بين ولكن مرات بيبقى البلب البين الانفلاميشن اكستندنج جوه الكانالز فالبين بيستمر حتى لما تعمل بلب تمام في دكتور صالح اه يا صالح بيجي يطلع لي كل حاجه جديد وصعب انسترومنت اه اتكسر واتكسر جنبي واحد تاني اه يوم نكد حصلت قبل كده عندي وفي دكتور بعت لي حاله عندي اظن عندي الصور بتاعتها هطلعها لك دلوقتي يا سيدي انت ايه انت عايز تصعب عليا يا مستر صالح اشوف ادور عليها بس الحاله كانت انسترومنت يعني كانت يعني انسترومنت نكد يعني اتكسر اتكسر فيها فايل واتكسر فيها جنبها فايل تاني بس بحاول ادور عليها اشوف لو موجوده عندي في الصور بتاعتي اطلعها لك يا هير وي جو اوكي ليت مي جاست ادخل على ستريم يارد تاني بس اعمل شير سكرين او لا سوري سوري ستوب شيرين ثواني بس سوري شير سكرين ابلكيشن ويندو هوم تاب فوتوز شير اوكي انتوا شايفين معايا ولا لا؟ بتحمل نو 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 لا يعني لسه ما تشيرتش لا ما شيرتش ما شيرتش اه اوكي كوم تاب تايم دي شير كده تشيرت اه تمام كده واضحه رايت تمام فيري جود اول رايت اوكي سو هير ذس از ان ابر سنترال اول رايت انسترومنت اهو واحد شايفينه uh, واضح جدا اهو جوه مكسور اوكي شلته تمام ايه اللي موجود جوه تاني؟ انسترومنت تاني اه فعندي حاله تانيه اهي اضطريت اعمل لها برضو تروفنج شايفين؟ وفاضل لسه الانسترومنت جوه شلتها هي كمان سو so, uh, حته ان الانسترومنت يبقى مكسور uh, اتنين جنبيه uh, اه طبعا نسبه السكسس بتقل بشكل ملحوظ <تصفيق> لما يبقى فيه اتنين انسترومنتس The possibility of removing both is more difficult. Yeah. Uh, Osama al Naif, uh, ahem al igraat, like uh, timna bihal pain, don't overextend and completely remove uh, all the pulp from the tissue uh, from the canals. Noor Ali, عايز محاضرة على الأكسس إن شاء الله ربنا يكرم إن شاء الله. May you tell me, doctor? You said no problem about cedar puff. What about metapix? My experience with metapix is that if you extend metapix into the apical, my most of my patients they come back with pain because it's very irritant. Calcium hydroxide can be very irritant. I don't like to push calcium hydroxide outside of the canal. 
Uh, says Dr. Tamer, we never leave a canals open, never ever ever leave a canal open. Uh, اعمل irrigation هاتوا اخر اليوم اعمل irrigation هاتوا يوم بعد الصبح بس ما تسيبش الكنال مفتوح. Alright انا دي هتبقى اخر سؤال لينا بقى يا مستر محمد باشا. يا دكتور. بين اون ثيرمال لو بيشنت uh, بيحس بين وبعد فتره بدا يحس بكونتينيوس بين اند كروتيك وكنت محتاره فيها فتحت لقيتها كولد اونلي بكون بين كويسه ما فيهاش حاجه ولا حس بالاكس راي مثلا هل ده طبيعي uh, بص يا دكتور ايمان طبعا انت عندك كيس uh, طبعا هنا وذ مشتبه فيها في اكتر حاجه ممكن يبقى في ريفيرد بين كمان طبعا صعب جدا ان انا اعرف رد للحاله بتاعتك دي من غير ما اشوف اكس راي واشوف العيان لو حضرتك عندك مور ديتيلز ممكن تبعتي على الماسنجر اكس رايز على على شويه هيستوري اكتر ممكن اساعدك بيها بشكل افضل من كده بس شكرا يا محمد على استضافتك انت شكلك كده ايه هتسهر الليله سهر انا بقى هدخل انام دلوقتي ربنا يوفيك شرفتنا دكتور اوكي ونشكر الدكاتره ربنا يكرمك ويحسن لك ونشكر الدكاتره كده طبعا لحضورهم معانا وانا تحت امركم في اي حاجه بليز جوين ماي فيسبوك بيج جوين ماي بيرسونال بيج وانا تحت امركم في اي حاجه ماشي شكرا لكم السلام عليكم